And we're back for episode four. I must admit, I'm getting used to these little musical numbers. Just gotta work on my dance moves. See, they just don't make music how they used to, do they? Classic. Vintage. Mm, someone get this menace inhaler. Ooh. Oh, medical clinic. Healthcare in the US of A has gotten better in the apocalypse. Bro, his nose. Just like if I look like imagine my nose just gone. Man. In hindsight, it's probably better they didn't do Tyrion Lannister's like missing nose in Game of Thrones, because that's all I'd be looking at for five or six seasons is just like <laughs> one little puff and I'll be back on my feet. You don't look for it. I'm sorry, Roger, I'm all out. The vials are to stop them going crazy. So if I remember correctly, Liam said you had two types of ghouls. The one type of ghoul retains its humanity and identity like it's just like a person uh just more indestructible and missing a nose and then you have the other type of ghoul who are just like zombies and they'll eat you up i totally described it this type of ghoul friend the other type of ghoul just eat you A long time. You know, my mom used to. Put him out of his misery. I hope. Unless he's just gonna steal his vials. Why'd you do If he had any. It's quite nimble. That is a cool car bonnet slide. No. God. You know what? I wonder if he ever thought those lasso skills would be like super duper useful. Can he reattach that? I thought he was going to can eat it. <laughs> oh man. This show just doesn't mess around. Jesus. To be honest. Well, I think you should vote for short round so we can go kill the people in the prison. Let's skip the bullshit talk. Thank you, Steph. Bert had some small shoes, man. Or small feet. Are we sure Bert's the daddy? Because you know the saying, like, big feet, big, you know. But judging by the size of his feet and his clothes, nah. Time to play some. What of their cousins? How's he gonna get his. Yes. I am Bert. Like. Are we gonna like do it? Oh! <laughs> oh, she's lost her trigger finger, right? It's gonna be problematic for her. Yeah, it's the right hand. Man. Man, I'd be pissed if I lost a finger, like, that finger. Like, if you had to choose, 
it's the pinky that's going first, right? Because, like... Like... What the fuck? What an asshole. I mean, she didn't even chop his finger off on purpose. He's just falling apart. It's weird, like, he's really durable, but his fingers can just drop off. Sounds like I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby world. Life's fantastic. <laughs> the makeup team's done a great job on Lucy. Like, she looks like she's been through the wars lately. And obviously she wouldn't look like that in real life on set. Just the makeup is that good. She got a finger back, eh? Trading finger for organs. It's gonna poison him. Yeah, he was a saint. So this is like a manipulation thing. Like, I assume they're just trying to turn. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put this in my fridge. Ah, oh, you. I thought he was going to manipulate them by at? saying the prisoners get better care. Hmm. This, this story is actually getting interesting. I thought maybe it was going to be like him taking charge and them starting to not be as innocent as they believe they are. They'll just turn into animals when things run out. Well, he's probably going to start to uncover the darker truth of the vault system. Plus, considering that I always remember him as Ender's Game, he might have been typecast to start off as a bit of a weasel, but he does have... Norm. Hi. He does have the aura where he looks like he could potentially uh, fuck you up. Feel like getting out of the house? Okay, but if they clear the path to 32, they can find out what's happening. But also, you might be able to so replace the water system. Worth a shot. But if it was that easy to get in, you might want to secure that hatch doorway. Look at the size difference. Oh, you've got like a football game? Let's bring that back to 31 or 33. He's going to wreck these clowns now. Hands up! Do as I say and Snip Snip doesn't get hurt. Hey, thank you! <laughs> We're about to see an example of the non-friendly versions of the ghouls. This is going to be savage. <gasps> Well, Lucy, can't say those two guys were good guys, but you did cause a little bit of chaos there. The editing for that was a bit whack. <laughs> like, it felt a bit jumbled. One thing I will say about the show is the editing for action sequences, or if there's an impact, uh, sometimes doesn't work. I think it's safe to say they went bananas. This doesn't explain how the raiders got in. The raiders getting in. Was the door just left open? Did one of the other vaults open up the doors? So maybe mommy's still alive outside, and that's why they've grabbed the daddy to bring him to her. I wouldn't know why she left her daughter and son, but maybe that will be answered. A 
finger still looks mank. I may end up looking like you. I'll never be like you. <laughs> That's how I feel on a Sunday morning. Trying to get out of bed. Does he just need all the drugs around him just to be functional? Jackpot, baby. <laughs> oh, someone's gonna... It's just gonna be reruns of his TV show. Is this how he's gonna remember who he was and what he should be? <laughs> oh damn that is a short episode 42 minutes Jesus yeah so that episode wasn't too bad we didn't get Maximus I'm a bit disappointed how they uh, walked back the finger chopping off as I thought that was bloody bold. <laughs> uh, but they kind of walked it back by giving them a new finger. And we expanded the lore, seeing the different types of goals. Uh, and we got to see a friendly robot that wasn't super friendly. What it was, it wasn't doing it out of malice. It was just doing what it was told to do. And the plot with the vault is thickening. We're beginning to find out the darker side. Seeing that explored more. Yeah. Not much happened. But Lucy's free. And maybe this will be the beginning of the ghoul finding his way back to his humanity. Becoming a better man. I think I still preferred the third episode, but we're still chugging. Still chugging. This wasn't a bad episode. It was still good. <laughs>